So first of all, I realized that um, these two quantities have power negative one. So it means that it has h minus two plus one half divided by h. You can write it as negative two plus h, doesn't matter. So then I have to find the least common denominator. And the least common denominator is always the product, I shouldn't say always, but two h minus two divided by h over one. Obviously this needs an adjustment of two and this one needs an adjustment of h minus two. So two plus h minus two. We know that these two go away. We see that h approaches zero. So we have h in the numerator over two. I have to flip two h, h minus two. So I simplify. So when h approaches zero, zero minus two is negative two. Two times negative two is negative four. The numerator goes to one and the denominator goes to negative four. And that's it. Any questions? Anyone, any questions, please? Okay, should we choose another? Should we look at other limits? As you know, the limits pop up. Can also. we do one more example, please? Sure. Yeah, please. So um, they also pop up in, um, in the later section. And also, we cannot forget about the squeeze theorem. In the later section, when we look at limits at infinity, as x approaches infinity. OK, so please choose another limit, any, any limit that you want. And also, we can jump directly for limits. We can jump to section 2.5, two dot, two dot, uh, I believe. Can we try 32? Yes, so let's try 32. Very good. In 32, we have limit. As x approaches negative 4, the square root of x squared plus 9 minus 5 divided by x plus 4. So let's work on this for two minutes, three minutes. So remember, I skipped a step here because it was simplification. But remember, when h, when h approaches 0, so this is not an indeterminate case because um, it was negative. Yeah, it is. It is still 0 over 0. Yeah. So we, um, we always plug it in. I skipped that step and I apologize for that. I should have not. We always plug it in to see what to expect or what type of limit we are facing. Because as we know, there are many, many different types. So again, the same thing here. So 16 plus 9 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5, 5 minus 5, and negative 4. So obviously, it's 0 over 0, so there is hope. So let's work on this, and let me know what you get. This one discussion or is it just? 
Um, we should use the, the rest for something else, but if you want to make it into a discussion, that's fine too. Whatever works. Do we need more time? I'm done. Okay. Is anyone else working, still working on this? Please, is anyone else working on this? Yes. Okay. One more minute. Okay, everyone ready? Is that a yes or a no? Okay, can anyone tell us what to do here? What is your suggestion? How do we proceed? Uh, so I started by multiplying by the conjugate. Of course. So since I, I wrote that over there, I can continue there. So x approaches negative 4. The square of x squared plus 9 minus 5 over x plus 4 times the square root of x squared plus 9 plus 5 over the square root of x squared plus 9 plus 5. Remember, this is the culprit, right? The x plus 4 is the problem. If this is supposed to have a limit, the x plus 4 has to cancel from the top and from the bottom because that's the problem that creates 0 over 0. Okay, so this is limit as x approaches negative 4. The numerator is this times this, which is x squared plus 9 and minus 25. And then x plus 4. And then the square root of x squared plus 9 plus 5. And when we look at the numerator, the numerator becomes x squared minus 16, as we expected. So then we can get rid of that x plus 4. So that's the idea. Am I okay here? No, I'm not. Okay. So. So then limit as x approaches negative 4. This is x squared minus 16, which turns into x plus 4 x minus 4 over x plus 4 times the square root of x squared plus 9 plus 5. And this is my target, the x plus 4 to go away. If possible, I can make it. I can force it. And now the limit is fine. What did we get?
Anyone? Anyone, please? Where is the numerator going? Negative four. So the numerator goes to negative eight, and the denominator is five plus five. 16, so 25 plus, right? 5 plus 5. And we will simplify and we get negative 4 fifths. Perfect. Awesome. Great job. Good. We move on. Let me know. Now, okay. Um, maybe we should look at one uh, problem again with absolute value. So let's choose one with absolute value. And then we'll move on. And then I can cross this out. And continuity. But I just wanted to uh, show the intermediate value theorem again. And then we move on to epsilon delta. So let's choose an absolute value. Limit. Any preference? I know we worked on them, but I don't remember exactly which one. I remember working on 47. Um, maybe we should work, work on 44. So we have limit. As x approaches negative 4 again, from the absolute value of x plus 4, divided by 2x plus 8. Let's work on this one together. Remember, we have to start with the absolute value because we have to simplify the function first. So don't look at anything. We don't care about anything at this point. The piece that has the absolute value, we have to simplify it. So what are the options for the absolute value of x plus 4? I'm not trying to push you, but I'd like to be able to review everything. So. It could be x plus 4 when x is greater than or equal to 0. No. We are talking about x plus 4, please. The absolute value of x plus 4 is x plus 4 if x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. It's negative x plus 4 if x plus 4 is less than 0. We are not talking about x. The expression is x plus 4. And the expression has to appear in all these pieces, always, five times. One, two, three, four, five. All of them have to be identical. Now, of course, I'm going to change this into x greater than or equal to negative 4. Of course, I'm going to change this into x less than negative 4, eventually. But initially, I have to have the same quantity five times. So then one more time. Now the absolute value of x plus 4 is indeed x plus 4 for x greater than or equal to negative 4, not x 0 or anything like that. It's, uh, it all depends on this quantity. Or negative x plus 4 for x less than negative 4. You never have to calculate this one. What it's not here in any direction. If this is greater than or equal to negative 4, this has to be less than negative 4. If this is less than or equal to 5, then this has to be greater than 5. So whatever you don't have here, you have to have in the second one. Now I'm looking at the function, not at the limit yet. I'm looking at the function. I have the absolute value of x plus 4. I see that I can factor out a 2. Because this piece has two options, this or this, this whole thing will also have two options. Because the top has two options. Can anyone tell us what is the first option, what is the second option? And careful, I cannot copy this. I have to say greater than negative 4 because negative 4 will create denominator 0, will turn the denominator into 0. So I cannot put the equal symbol here. This is okay because there's, this is not in the denominator. 
But now x plus 4 is in a denominator, I can no longer put the equal symbol. Less than negative 4. So what are the two options? Think for a moment and tell me what are those two options for the entire function this time. What is the first option? Two. Yes, because the numerator is x plus 4, I simplify with x plus 4, so I have 1 half. Excellent, thank you. What about the second option? That'd be the same thing. But That's I have, negative. yes, indeed. Awesome. Now, now I look at the limit. What is the limit from the right of negative 4 of this function? Good. What is the limit from the left of negative 4 for this function? Negative 1. Excellent. What is the limit from either side? Now, to be exact, I should write limit as x approaches negative 4 from the left, from the right of 1 half is 1 half. And the limit as x approaches negative 4 from the left of negative 1 half is negative 1 half. Therefore, Therefore, the limit from either side is d and e. Great job. Any questions on this one? The continuity we already discussed, the um, continuity at a point. That's basically all I need, or reading from the graphs. So that's done. Um, I would like us to look at a problem with um, IVT, and I created one. Oh, sorry. Any questions on this problem?